we are rounding out our series on space companies uh, with a little bit of a dive into intuitive machines or LUNR. Uh, this is one that we haven't covered in the past, but we're covering this today. In the past, we have covered, of course, Planet Labs, Rocket Lab, Redwire, and I've been kind of waiting to do one on intuitive machines just to get a little bit closer to it and, and, and see where the whole sector is going. Let's just face it, aerospace and defense and the space exploration companies in particular are a very hot sector. After a few years or a couple of years in the doldrums, they came to life uh, in the latter half of 2024. We've got a little bit of a reprieve in early 2025, which I think provides a great buying opportunity, which is why we're covering these stocks. And I think the timing is right now. The new administration in Washington here in the United States has made it, uh, has made it a priority that, that space is, is a big deal and they want to have a stake in it. These are companies that, that we're covering that will have a global impact and will, should shape things uh, for quite a few decades into the future. Intuitive Machines is another one of those companies that, uh, that is right there and is, has a seat at the table. So these stocks have made a lot of news uh, recently. Firefly, of course, aboard a Falcon 9 uh, rocket from SpaceX, uh, launched and they've now landed on the moon. Uh, but our own Intuitive uh, Machines has also done this now. They did this uh, back uh, in 2024, and they're en route to the moon uh, as we speak with an approximate landing date on, on the moon of around March 6th. So we are right there with this company as well, and you can own a piece of it as, as I have. Let's just talk a little bit about and ground ourselves. This was founded in 2013. It came public in 2023 via a SPAC. Uh, this is a Houston, Texas-based company. And it's really the first U.S. company or first U.S. entity to land on the moon since 1972. Before, of course, Firefly just, just did it recently. And Lunar, our intuitive machines, is headed there again in the next handful of days. Uh, so a lot of things going on with, with this company. Of course, uh, they're into heavy cargo uh, launches and landings. Uh, we're, we're talking about data transmission, space infrastructure. Intuitive Machines is another very critical component. Uh, also provide, uh, looking into space uh, terrain vehicles for the moon in particular. This is something that, uh, that, that is kind of space age that's, that's come to life and it's, it's here now. And let's take a little bit closer look at some of the fun fundamentals, make sure they agree with my hype. My excitement around Intuitive Machines is because this is a $1.35 billion company that has been to the moon, that is going there again, and has all the space technology that we need going into the future and is working hand in hand with the other leading uh, space companies and uh, the, our own NASA here in the United States. Uh, with the market cap of again, 1.35 billion and a stock trading at under $15 a share right now, it's come back a little bit from, from highs it reached in late 2024 and early 2025. Uh, in the past year, it's traded between three dollars a share and twenty-five dollars a share. So it's come, it's re retraced that that those highs quite a bit, and that's what provides a really compelling entry point uh, for us to to get in and talk about a bit more. Uh, year to date, it's down twenty percent. Uh, the five year up over fifty percent. Uh, the one year had a fantastic twenty twenty four up 147%. Talking about a company with real revenue at this point in time. In Q3 of 2024, they provided us revenue of $58 million, um, cash on hand of about $89 million, and overall for 2024, they're projected to bring in a, a revenue haul of anywhere between 215 to $235 million, and this is per the, the, the company's indications to us. So this is a company that's on the move, and where do they get their money? Of course, of course, it's through space contracts, government government work. Uh, we'll see what the commercial applications look like more and more into the future, but there's a lot of excitement with this, as as we know, in particular, the U.S. government has has pushed a lot of this work into the hands of very capable uh, companies, and the commercial sector has stepped forward. SpaceX, Rocket Lab, Redwire, Intuitive Machines, to name a handful of those that have really taken on this challenge to propel us into the future. Uh, analysts rate this a fairly good buy. 
with uh, stock price uh, indicators of between $16 and $26. Uh, this is for the current time being. Of course, the sentiment has pulled back a, a little bit, but I think a successful landing on the moon again uh, in, in a handful of days and some additional uh, good catalysts which, which could be coming for additional activities and contracts could spur this company with, with its great uh, disruptor technology to even higher highs. Uh, think long term on this. This is, this is not for the faint of heart. There is risk here with these type of companies. But I think this is one with growing revenue base, fantastic technology connected with all the right companies uh, and, and governments is that you probably want to have a piece of this company into the future. I'm an acquirer. I'm in. Let me know what you're doing. Bye.